All right, well, let me knock this out real quick and feed these hungry, uh, Steam Deck fans. Yeah, 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 gotta feed them. <laughs> they want their news and they want their content. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got them, I got them. Oh, by the way, hello, viewers. Morning's another beautiful day. Yep, hope your five senses work, health and strength is good. Or excellent. <laughs> All right, look, let's see here. What do we got? What do we, what do, what do we got for you little Steam Deck nerds? You, you, you in that crazy Steam Deck. You in that crazy Steam Deck. All right, let's see here. What's this? Mesa Graphics Driver 24.2.5 release with a few more bug fixes. Mesa was 24, 24.2.5 was announced from developer Eric uh, N, N get Storm bringing in some more bug fixes for various Linux graphics drivers. Here are the main fixes. And then it says, uh, uh, let's see, uh, uh, GL link program terminates application when shader passing uh, uh, bindless texture into function, cache uh, when using image obtained from texture with a blindness handle, crash, uh, gallium uh, crash uh, writing to a Rytheon Ali image 3D, and let's see, uh, let's get one more here, uh, it says, uh, Texture failed in GLES1 even with extension texture compression DXT supports R300 regression upside upside down and broken rendering for source code. <laughs> and then it says, as a reminder uh, of coming updates from Mesa, it's uh, 24.2.6, 24.2.7, 24.2.8, and that's uh, the 10th to the 30th, the 11th to the 13th, the 11th to the 27th. All right. Got you, you got your little Mesa. Uh, it says we also have Mesa 24.3 that should be due out on November 20th. <laughs> yeah, you, Steve, you, 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 you Linux fans, you're good. All right, now what else we got on the on the Steam Deck front here? Keep you guys in the loop here. Let's see here. Grab, hmm, oh, fanatical deals. Oh Lord. Let's see. Um, <laughs> see that ever that 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 wall of shame, that backlog that you guys got. Yeah. It says grab more uh, quality game real cheap in these fanatical bundle fanatical have some quality games you can get extra cheap in a couple of bundles so let's take a look and you can get the, get in them I will note the Steam Deck compatible makes it easy for you to get a glance and you can also check Proton DB for further compatibility if they uh, relate if they're playable um, like likely they'll work well on desktop Linux too all right that's what we got. Okay, we got the best of the bundle and, and build your own bundle. Let's see, what do we got? Uh, let's see, for Steam Deck Verified, the Game of Life 2, Luck to be a la Luck to be a Landlord, Moonlighter, Complete Edition, Forgive Me Father, Clue, Clue and Cluedo, Classic Edition, Herbo, uh, Gibbon, uh, Beyond the Trees, and then for Steam Deck, uh, let's see, let's see, um, Steam Deck playable is for the Kings, Deluxe Edition, Clue and Clued, Cluedo, Dimensional uh, Slaughter, King Bounty 2, Unrated is a uh, Warhammer uh, Chaos Bane Slayer Edition, Paleon, uh, Baldi, uh, Biteland Over, uh, Overclocked, uh, Death Bloom Chapter 1, Death Bloom Chapter 2, and then the Quest, and then it says uh, additional Build Your Own Bundle, Steam Deck verifies this fall of uh, Porcupine. Arthenia, Noctis, DG2 Defense Grid, Cozy Space, Savior, Beyond Long Night, Steam Deck Playable is uh, in Internet Internet Cafe Simulator 2, Summon, Arthenia, Niren, Survivor, Frogun, Finding Paradise, Unrated is uh, Blackfire, A Wall, Xeno Runner, Garfield, Las, La, let me see, Lay Sagna, <laughs> Party, Long way, elemental magic key. And it says, get, go have a look at build your own bundle for fall 2024. And this is a uh, who is this? Fanatical. Yeah, <laughs> they always having deals. All right, now what else we got? Let's see here. Uh, Doom bound tactic really is one of one is re Doom bound tactics really is one to watch for strategy fans. And let's see what you have. Uh, 
Doombound Tactic has been announced for Terra Hand Studios. And if you are anything like me and love strategy games, for this, look, look for the. I mean, and if you and wait a minute, and if you if you're anything like me and love strategy games, this look one to watch for. <laughs> That's some strange wording, but anyway, after reading up on it and checking it out, I'm getting sort of a sunless sea slash sunless skies vibe from this with the exploration and interaction, except you're in some sort of sand crawling ship and there's a additional of turn-based tactical combat with plenty of destruction. Mm. Let's see, what, what do we got here? We got uh, e each run a step stepping stone, dynamic role generation, strategic turn-based combat, friends, uh, fuel, and foes. And what else says he? Uh, what he says? Uh, he says. Uh, he says personally, I'm a huge tac huge tactic fanatic. Uh, we built our own tactic engine with RPG elements from the ground up for the Dune Bound tactics. I'm excited for both the technical innovation as well as the freedom we give our game designers to create an amazing experience. This art in the game is the best we've managed so far connecting all wait a minute <clears throat> okay connect um, <clears throat> connecting all details squeeze our performance <clears throat> and Aries uh, Tis Ver Vernus CEO of Tyra Hand Studios and yeah it says follow it on it says follow it on Steam for Linux and Steam Deck players, you need Proton. Hmm. Yeah, and it says your previous miss, uh, miss, mishaps, crashing defeat, and triumphs will contribute to you, to your next run, either in the form of modules and potentially even survivors, as you find the previous uh, caravan wrecks. Uh, Whether in combat or roaming through the sands, battlefield location quests will challenge you in new, unexpected ways, making each run unique. Um, it says, uh, manipulate a fully destructible, reshapable terrain to mold the battlefield and seize advantage. Friends, rescue and recruit lots, rescue and recruit lost souls to bolster your member. But remember, your caravan has limit seats with the roster of 15 distinct class and 16 unique traits and enhance skills, stats, and add abilities every run uh, offers a fresh experience. Fuel. Decide uh, whether to heal your wounded infantry, infirmary, uh, no, infirmary, after the battle takes its toll, or extract the Eloys from their bodies, leaving them mere husk to fuel your ambition or power the caravan engine. Then it says foes between the Imperials and the Arcan Arcanists. Your party must face 40 enemy class in desperate fight over desperate fight for battle tomorrow <laughs> yeah all right now let's keep going here what else we have on the steam deck front here all right what else we got here uh, let's say Golan is is like a unite Golan or Jolan Golan is like untitled goose game but you're a seagull in a town that's a bit too peaceful <laughs> oh boy. Hmm. And let's see here. Uh, giving off some early until Goose Game vibes. Golan is a uh, non linear open world adventure where you're, un you're one of the most annoying birds on the planet, the seagull. You can tell I live near the sea, right? Create by, created by indie dev Brian uh, Mart Martinet. You play as a mischievous seagull in a small sandbox open world, interacting with uh, characters uh, to solve the enigmas, achieve quirky goals, or take on yourself, impose, uh, and of course, poop on everyone. <laughs> it says in an email Martina uh, mentioned earlier this year, I lost my job in the AAA game industry, IDOS Montreal, due to the ways of layoffs hitting the industry. I took it as an opportunity to create this game on my own. It's been a challenging yet 
rewarding experience handling every aspect of the game development mm. and it says seemed like a fun idea after playing a bunch of demos I'm like I'm looking forward to seeing what other chaotic thing the developer adds in being able to fly around and have a lot of uh, freedom to explore will be great the demo area is of course limited but this small slice is promising and it says uh, it says uh, play as a mischievous seagull wrecking havoc on quite on a quiet island, engaging in open-ended sandbox-style gameplay, solve puzzle puzzles, and complete objective using stealth, creativity, and manipulation. Interact with various items and NPC to cause chaos and amusement. Shape and transform your surrounding base. On your actions, help adorable stranded animals find their way to the ocean. Enjoy charming visuals and a delightful, whimsical, dynamical soundtrack. Experience the dynamic and reaction from the environments and characters. Explore multiple areas within the island, each with its own challenges. Interact with charming uh, characters and assist them in their quest. Enjoy relaxing gameplay with no time limit pressure. And it says the demo has native Linux version that works great. Have a look out and try the demo on Steam now. Full game release date has not yet been announced. Mm. Well, takes time to build a game, man. Es especially if you know what you're doing. Okay, uh, what's this? Hmm, little mouse. Uh, Melt them all is a bit like retro action rogue like Factorio with tower defense. Stripping down automation sim to the basic, adding in tower defense and a little rogue look like action with retro visual. And you have melt, melt them, melt them, all combining all the fun elements in each tiny package. That's good for short bursts, and it's incredible cheap. And it says uh, the the idea here is that you can make fuel out of aliens. You first have to destroy them, and then mine, then mine away at their little bodies to get get the ore. You have to drag around a cart and pick up the ore. And then gradually expand production chain with a lot and lots of convoy belts. There's a li there's a little survivor like flavor here too, with characters buffed to unlock as you go as well, and perhaps a new item to be able to build to spend all your credits. A great distraction when you don't want something too in depth with fun games mechanics to keep you wanting to play more. Hmm. And it says uh. The tutorial isn't particularly great, but easy, and the mechanics are pretty simple, so it doesn't really take long to understand everything you're doing. Like a lot smaller game on Steam, it's been a it's bit it's been a bit buried with only two user reviews, but it's a nice little mix-up. All the survivor like comes out lately. Check it out on Steam. <clears throat> it's called uh, Gen Gen Generate. <laughs> yeah. Mm. We say melt them is all a little bit retro action. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> okay. Melt them. <clears throat> anyway, uh, what's what's the next game here? Out. Got to keep you guys in the loop here. It says play golf as a household object in the challenging house hopper. Hmm. <laughs> says here. Uh, House Hopper Instant remind me of what the golf take the basic idea of golf and turn it into a something totally absurd. In this one, you're outside a hot. You're in this one, you're inside a house, taking on the form of a household household object. Starting off as a dish uh, scrubber, and you have to flip yourself all around the house across different surface and just attempt to keep going. It's basically a 3D uh, physical platformer with level uh, being the house itself. It's as funny as it's frustrating with the demo live on Steam. You should definitely give it a go. The controls are a little funky to get used to and there will be many mishaps where you launch yourself just as a bit too short or too far ends up somewhere annoying which is all part of the fun here as you go through you also get to unlock more objects to become 
each with their own unique uh, shape that will change how you flip and land. <laughs> it says check out the demo on Steam. Um, it has native Linux report. Um, Linux. It has native Linux support, and the game is due to release on November eighth. <laughs> yeah, video games, folks. All right, what else we got here? Oh, Nexus mod. What are they up to this year? Nexus mod new cross-platform app add supports for heroic game launcher Baldur's Gate 3. Okay. There is a new independent open source cross-platform Nexus mod app that I mean app just expanded and it sounds awesome. Much easier modding is coming for Linux and Steam Deck. Keep in mind <coughs> this is not finished. Nowhere done with the amount of games supported. Right now being limited but they do keep gradually expanding it like the version 0.6.2 release that's out now for testing which has added in support for modding Baldur's Gate 3 that in addition to Stardew Valley and Cyberpunk 2077 the, for Linux desktop and Steam Deck modders you'll be pleased to know this release also now support the heroic game launcher this means games installed via heroic from GOG can now be modded via the Nexus mod app. Although in this case, the red mod for Cyberpunk 2077 via Heroic was disabled, but you can short that inside Heroic itself. It says there's also been some user interface improvement. They're starting to show when a mod needs an update in an app too. On top of that, there's some bug fixes like correct uh, wine prefix on Linux really exciting to watch this app uh, go see uh, I mean this app grow so we can see so we can uh, finally have really easy multi multi game modding on Linux and Steam Deck through a supported app for now though each update does need to wipe things so it's more about testing and giving feedback to help shape the future but certainly getting there just imagine in say a year or so when someone asks about modding on Linux Steam Deck and all you have to say is use Nexus mod app and away they go every little wall being smashed to make it easier to get more people to stick mm -hmm. alright and it says I uh, see the release for all the details on the main github page mm -hmm. Nexus mod alright what else we got Okay, fanatical again. <laughs> Let's see, was that fanatical? Okay, uh, grab, uh, grab 15 more uh, deck games in the fanatical play, and um, go bundle prim premium edition. Fanatical, build your own play on the go bundle premium edition has launched again, and another set of games to grab for your Steam Deck. All of the all of the games include our Steam Deck verified. So you're good to go on Steam Deck or Linux Desktop. Let's see what we got here. Here's what included. Uh, Blossom Tail 2, Minotaur Prince, Demon Turf Queen Edition, Zoiti, A Rise of the Simple Story, uh, ready, sh uh, ship, uh, re ready Steady Ship, Bang on Balls Chronicle, Soundfall, uh, Slash Quest, Tales of Iron, Cat Cave, uh, Coroman uh, Deluxe Edition, Night Loop, Symphony of War, Nephilim Saga, Hello uh, Good Boy, <laughs> From Space, Resistance Bundle. And then it says, there, as this is a build your own bundle, you can get two games for $3.50 per item, three plus games for $3.33 per item, five plus game, um, $3 per item. See more on Play on the Go Bundle Premium uh, Edition page. Yeah video games you gotta keep you in the loop folks all right <clears throat> what else we got on the gaming front any more games on the gaming front let's see here what's this mm. any more games gotta keep you guys in the loop here that's what we got here okay um Let's see, Xbox free to play days. Yeah, 
Let's see, what do we got? Uh, we got Dying Light, Exo Cross, and NBA 2K25. Dying Light is $2.99. Uh, Exo Cross is $27.99. And NBA 2K25 is uh, $48.99. And it says uh, the weekend offer goes live until October 24th. Hmm. Okay. All right. Next. Got to keep you guys in the loop. Let's see. Yeah, what's this? Oh, Epic Free Game. It says Atom Eve, a keyboard king, are free to claim on the Epic Game Store. Okay, any trailers? Do we got anything? Let's say uh, Invinci Invincible Prince Adam Eve and Keyboard King Card Shop Simulator. Okay, I'll leave the link in the description box. Keep going. All right, what else we got here? Okay. Hmm. Nvidia GeForce Now. Okay, get dra Okay, buy six months of GeForce Now Ultimate and get Dragon Age: The Veil Guard for free. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, by the way, Dragon Age: The Veil Guard is Steam Deck verified. By the way. Oh, let's see here. Oh, actually, no, I gotta do a separate video on this. This is for G Force fans. Gotta keep them in the loop. You know how that goes. So let me let me do that. Uh, do that for a separate video. All right. What else we got? Keep going. Hmm. Ubuntu twenty Ubuntu twenty five dot four. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Let me see what they talking about here. That's. I have to do. I'll probably do that in a separate video too, for the Ubuntu fans. All right. All right. Hmm. Keep it gaming here. I'm gonna do that in a separate video. So I got two videos to make after this. Okay. Hades two gains a new region, fresh character, and much more. Okay. What's this? Okay, so what do we have? It says uh, the update now is now available for Steam players. Complete patch notes for Olymp Olympic update can be found here. However, if you rather hear the game iconic storyteller go through the change in an official dramatic reading, watch the, the over 25 minute long video. Mm. Then it says, uh, which I will leave in the description box. So the developer says that plenty more to come uh, to Hades as early access. Development continues at least a couple more major updates planned before the release. And here's the the, the next area my super giant will be focusing on after its sure Olympic update. And <clears throat> says here. Uh, Cinematic confrontation of what's awaits further beyond the newly added regions. Um, once we add that we consider the main structure of the surface route to be complete, new boom new boons are integral to experience the of Hades too. So we have some more additions planned on this front. Surely Olympian deserve no less. New foes, we plan to add even more combat encounters variety. Having a lot of exciting uh, verified encounters help keep Hades 2 feeling fresh for as long as you can you play it. And what else here? It says here, uh, Hades 2 next major update is planned for early 2025. The studio say its goal is to create the biggest, most replayable, most featured rich game it's ever made. Mm. Alright. Mm. Okay. What else we got? Keep it move, keep the ball moving here. What's this? Stalker 2. What's this? Gotta keep you guys in the loop. Okay. So Stalker 2. Uh, Stalker 2 final preview reveals your choice matter in the hearts of Cronoby. Hmm. Alright. Says here. While Stalker 2 first emerged over a decade ago, developer GSC Games is bringing the franchise choice based storytelling into modern era with Stalker 2 Art of Cronoby and in a recent interview the game non-linear narrative and reactive system were on full display and then it says uh, players uh, 
players drop onto the dark field of Chrono B extension zone peering through detector search and road active anomaly anomalies <laughs> and powerful artifacts they hide okay I'll leave I'll leave the um, the link in the description box it says at this opening moment one chance encounter pull the players into a web of side missions as choice compounded to expand the storyline of course saying a stranded survivor will also involve checking on his friend too with some even hidden behind s such quests that players might miss if they make one decision over another mm. and then it says during the, um, the main quest to locate the character squint player receive a fork path facing him violent corp corporate unlock a charge experience recalling classic like fallout this left an impression of role playing no choice uh, feels in sequential uh, loading and all save a peaceful resolution uncover a story that may have stay hidden hmm all right I'll leave a link in the description box <laughs> it says uh, launches on November 20 2024 PC and Xbox our series X and S and game pass all right keep moving here <clears throat> what else we got Okay. <clears throat> the Hitman Maker say it's James Bond game is going amazingly well. Want to spawn a trilogy? Mm. All right. Do we got a trailer? Anything? Okay. Anything? Okay. It says here, uh, it was 2020 that we first heard of Hitman franchise de developer IO Interactive stepped into the world of James Bond to de develop a brand new game. The studio revealed back then that Project 007 would explore MI6 intelligence agents' origins as a part of the original storyline. While not even a new trailer has not yet surfaced yet, the developer revealed that some details about the upcoming game in an interview speaking to IGN. Uh, IO Interactive uh, Hacken Abrax says that for over 20 years of creating the role of Hitman, the team is familiar with and working of building a special agent fantasy. The studio also said to be excited about telling an original story uh, involving the brand new Bond just for gamers instead of following the movie. Mm. Alright, then it says uh, it's extremely exciting with all the tradition and history there is there is there to, to get together to work on this together with the family of creating a young bond for gamers a bond that gamers can tell their own I mean call their own and grow with it hmm. says Abrak he is also hopeful that the game success about the game success saying that it's completely be the beginning and becoming a story hopefully for a big trilogy out there in the future alright hmm. All right. Well, we'll see what they do. Keep moving. Okay. Anything else? Leak says Alan Wake 2 second expansion Lake House launch very soon. Oh yeah, this has a trailer in it too. Okay, so I'll leave the link in the description box. It says uh, the Lake House expansion included in Alan Wake 2 Deluxe Edition. And the game expansion pass, which also includes access to Night Spring expansion, um, is available on PC via the Epic Game Store on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S console. Okay. Okay. Has a, tra has a trailer, so leave it. Okay. Anything else? Keep moving. That is that. So, uh, hmm. that's all the news I got to report. News, deals, games, update. The usual. Yeah. You Steam Deck fans, you're good. You're covered, man. <laughs> got you guys in the loop. Uh, keep you guys on what's going on, gaming wise. And, yeah. Lots going on behind the scenes, man. So, 
when every news break, I'll keep you in the loop. And now I gotta do a video for the G the G Force fans because they got some games coming. So yeah. Or you know or they got a deal going on. Plus there's two other news on the G Force app where they need our support, so I'll cover that too. But anyway, I'm gonna leave this video for you guys to enjoy though. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still Star Wars, Star Trek, Dark Side. Peace.